Hey folks, Coach Mafia here. I'm going to go through a real quick install on the manual fan switch. Um, I use the same switches that I use for the manual headlight switch, these little round uh, LED style switches. Um, so they're going to be almost identical to that switch. Um, the only difference is uh, because of the way this circuit is on the bike, um, the LED will be on when the fans are not on. Uh, and when you switch this on to run your fans manually, the light will go out. So that is a little bit reversed from the headlight switch, or you can run the headlight switch always on LED. Um, but due to the basic design of it and the circuit on the bike, that's, that's how it's going to uh, be on this switch. Um, basically, it's the same type of deal. You've got two positive leads and you've got this ground wire here. Uh, the ground wire runs the LED. Uh, for sake of speed on the video, I've already got a ground wire hooked up. So I'm going to unplug that while I talk about this. Um, the, uh, I've already got my plastics off. Uh, if you want to come down here and look, um, this is your temp sensor. Uh, this just goes into your radiator. Uh, it should be a black and red wire and a black and white wire. Uh, in, inside the if you want to you know double check that make sure you got the right thing But there's only one one like another bike, so uh, you're not going to get wrong But uh, what what we do here? I've already got this for speed of this video. I've already got these uh, these quick splices in here uh, but What you want to do is I got a couple inch section here on the, the rubber uh, Abrasion, you know cover for these wires that I've trimmed off carefully with a razor blade Just very carefully trim those off. You don't want to nick into your wires or anything uh, It's pretty simple to do if you just be patient uh, and then you're going to use uh, Two of these uh, that I supply, they're called uh, uh, quick splices. Uh, what it is, you've got a, a long channel here for your existing wire, uh, and then a short uh, channel that you put one wire in and it kind of terminates on the back side so you can't go any further. Uh, so all you want to do uh, is, it doesn't matter which wire you hook to which, uh, but you want to take your existing wire um, and run it through this long channel. Uh, so that'd be one of your black and red or black and white. Uh, and then take one of the ends of the switches I provide uh, and stick it in here till it stops. And when you do that, you want to take a pair of pliers and squeeze down on this connector. It'll slide all the way through both wires and click. Uh, you'll hear an audible click. And it's pretty takes a pretty good amount of pressure to get it, and it's not really correctly done until that metal uh, metal connector is basically flush with this red piece. You'll you'll definitely know when it happens. Uh, but until it's flat, you won't be able to fold this over and lock it. Uh, once once you've clipped it all the way through, you can fold this all the way across and it'll snap into a lock. You'll hear that audible click and you'll be able to tell that it's closed just like that. Uh, so it'll end up looking like this. Uh, the two long channels uh, to your existing wiring and the two wires that I provide uh, butted in there. Uh, and then everything clamped and closed together. That's pretty much, I want to say, permanently installed. Obviously, you can pull it off of there, uh, but it'd be a little difficult to pull off and you'd have some you know, nicks in your wires. Uh, if you ever didn't want to use this uh, setup, it'd almost be easier just to clip the wires off the here and, and tape it up. Uh, but uh, so it's a kind of a, not as plug and play as the other stuff, it's a little bit more of a permanent install. Uh, but once you get it done um, and you come up here, you're gonna mount your switch wherever you like. Uh, once again, for the speed of the video, I've got this ground wire already hooked up up here. So I'm gonna plug it in. Mine's gonna mount on my dash eventually right next to my manual headlight switch. Uh, and then let me come over and turn the bike on and I'll show you how it works. So as you can see, the bike's on and we've got the, uh, the LED switch is, is working here. Uh, and then if we want our fans uh, anytime um, that, you know, we don't, we don't normally have our fans on short of 225 degrees and roasting, uh, just hit your switch. And your fans so sitting in traffic, you know, uh, slow moving, hot day, whatever, you want to run your fans more constant, uh, just click this switch. Again, uh, it's reverse the headlight switch. You've got uh, the light will be on when the fans are not running. When the fans are running, the light's going to be on. And other than that, I'll provide some quick uh, picture instructions with the switch. But other than that, uh, if you have any questions, uh, just PM me or 